Today we will be looking at Miller Rubin primality test. This test is used to detect whether a number is prime or not. So, you are given a number n, say 25, and a parameter k, that is the accuracy level or precision. So, the higher the k is, the greater the precision will be. And the lower the k is, the lower the precision will be of your answer. So, Miller Raven primarity test is an approximate test. It can sometimes give wrong results, but it will give correct results with a very high probability, even for a very high num very great number, very um, great number. That is very large number. Sorry. Uh, so is prime is past these two parameters the number and the precision level we quickly handle the base cases and less than three we can easily handle and percentage two is equal to is equal to zero that is the number is even then it can't be prime because it is divisible by two and <clears throat> we can quickly implement the divisibility by three test if its digit sum is divisible by three then the number is also divisible by three so this is a property so you can test this and quickly uh, eradicate these numbers as well and uh, in these two cases we return false because the number is not prime it is divisible by 2 and here it is divisible by 3 then <clears throat> you take n minus 1 and you divide it by 2 till you get an odd number d so we write it as d into 2 power r that is the number of twos which can divide n minus one is r so now we repeat k times so this this loop is performed k times hence the uh, precision is more if we repeat it more times and the precision is low if we repeat it lower times so we call this test method with the parameters n and d and if it returns false we we'll immediately return false because we have de deduced that it is a composite number it is not a pri prime number and after all these iterations if we don't get any false value then we return true that is we deduce that the number is actually prime okay so let's quickly look at what a single test is in a single test we will be passing two numbers n and d that is n is the number and d is the odd number which we have uh, obtained by dividing it by 2 continuously n minus 1 by 2 okay so now what we do is given these two n and d we choose a random number from 2 to n minus 2 both included now we calculate x is equal to a key power d percentage n where uh, a is this random number so random number a per key power d percentage n so this is the x so if x is equal to is equal to 1 or x is equal to is equal to n minus 1 we immediately return true that is we say that the uh, number is uh, prime in for this particular test otherwise we do x square x is equal to x square modulus n and if x is equal to is equal to 1 we return false and and if x is equal to is equal to sorry this will not be 2 this will be n minus 1 so if x is equal to is equal to n minus 1 we return true so as soon as in these all iterations we receive a false that is this this case we return a false that is the number is composite otherwise we keep on iterating till we receive a true and if we never receive a false all the time we keep on receiving true only then we finally return true that is we say that number is prime uh, hope you understood. Thank you friends.